in a society, especially when trauma is occurring, that we really are rounding support. So there's support groups. And what happens is when we have a crisis, we want to gather based on our nervous systems around like-minded people and start to feel validation and support. And that is 100% necessary on your healing path. In fact, every single client that comes to work with us started off going to support workers like counselors, social workers, therapists that support them in support groups. But one of the funny things they noticed was as they went through these processes, it worked to get you out of despair because now you're in a group of people where you're sharing your woe is me story and you now realize I'm not the only one having this experience. There's a name for it. There's a tape label for it. There's a fibromyalgia support group, trauma recovery support group. Ah, okay, I'm not alone, that's great. But what happens one year later, two years later, you're still going to these support workers and support groups. Still, everybody's swapping the woe is me story. It almost becomes like a competition to see who has the worst victim story. It's unconscious, it's not done on purpose. And you then find yourself going to therapists and counselors telling your story and then they say oh that was really hard it was because of your childhood and then you're like yeah you have the tears and you leave there and you don't have any skills you haven't learned the tools you haven't actually addressed and faced and felt them oftentimes you're talking and it's necessary to talk to somebody but the conversation has not done anything more than on a cognitive level in fact sometimes the talking is done to 